This is the news at 10 in our top stories. Residents of Atalindi neighborhood Ghana efforts to stave off the effects of rain-induced floods, which often affect the area. Millions of Malian voters returned to the polls to elect a new president after the first round of vote failed to produce an outright winner. And Iraqis welcomed the end of Ramadan with a wave of deadly bombings, which left at least 60 people dead and 100 others with injuries. These and other stories coming ahead this half hour. I am the Kumadema. Thanks for joining us. The President, His Excellency, Sir Professor al Haji Dr. Yaya Jame, has received a congratulatory message from one Alaji Salif Jame, and the message states, I have the pleasure to write to Your Excellency and extend my warmest regards and offer congratulations on the 19th anniversary of the July 22nd Revolution. Since 1994, you have promoted peace and development in the Gambia and beyond. You have changed the lives of many Gambians and non-Gambians alike through your personal intervention addressing the daily needs of the citizenry. Another message addressed to the Head of State comes from one Musa Tamba and the message reads, Please accept my heartfelt congratulations and best wishes to Your Excellency and the First Family on the joyous occasion of the 19th anniversary of the July 22nd anniversary. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to continue to guide and protect Your Excellency. The text of the message from one Cynthia Mahoney states, Please permit me once again as I join the, as I join the myriad of voices in congratulating you on the occasion of the 19th anniversary of the July 22nd revolution. Indeed, this is a revolution that turns out to be a glorious blessing in our nation and its people. It has brought tremendous progress in all spheres of development, especially in the education and health sectors. Sir, your unwavering commitment to the realization of equal opportunity to all Gambians, especially in the education sector, has made the dreams and aspirations of many of the un underprivileged and disadvantaged become a reality. It is a beautiful gift and a legacy for the future generation of this nation. May God Almighty reward and bless your excellency. Sir, I sincerely pray that as a member of the new breed of African Union leaders, the spirit and ideals of Pan-Africanism and African Renaissance would also in solid and honest integration and solidarity towards a stronger and powerful Africa. Your Excellency, may I avail myself of the opportunity to congratulate you for the brilliant July 22nd revolution message to the nation. Please accept, sir, the assurances of my highest esteem. It ends. Residents of a challenging neighborhood have embarked on a massive communal initiative to tackle a growing environmental hazard in the area. The community-led effort is meant to avert a recurrence of rain-induced floods that often devastate the neighborhood. Our Babakar Senghor has details of the community's latest intervention to ensure enough measures are put in place to promote to protect homes from the effects of flash floods. Of a challenging neighborhood faced with the challenges of flooding have embarked on a flood management exercise. This Stalinian community has converged once more to tackle the devastating effects of flooding, which has been a recurring problem for the community. Men, women, and children, including the Stalinian ward councillor, Sanusi Ture, were present at the affected point to craft a way forward and arrest the worrying effects of the flood. Sanusi Ture and many other residents of this prune flood point have revealed that blockage of the water passage resulting from garbage dumping serves as the main problem. He therefore urged the residents of the community to put together efforts since there will never be a solution if this is not exercised. The councillor spoke of the many problems associated with tackling the flood problems of this community. Many residents, including Anna Jaju and Bintaso, raised concerns about digging a water passage protesting that such a move has often affected their compound fence in more than three occasions. Some of the residents of the area resort to dumping garbage near the fence as this serves to prevent water from entering their homes and simultaneously protect their fences from falling. When the issue of health implications concerning the waste dumping was put to the likes of Binta, she responded that she is fully aware but have no other way out. Ismaila Kante, Fatmata Kuyate and others also voiced that new settlements and the erection of a nearby mosque are to be blamed for the flood problem. For Fatou Mada, the issue is so grave that it is time for the authorities to help them eliminate this flood problem forever. Tackling the flood problem, Hamadiba, another resident of the area, says is complex. 
and has been a challenging issue for the community, which he says needs addressing through the intervention of the relevant stakeholders. The communal effort is a way of tackling a serious environmental problem, which continues to be a cause for concern for residents of the area, and residents are hopeful of intensifying efforts to ensure that the area scales through this rainy season unaffected by the effects of the flash floods experienced in previous years. For GRTS News, this is Babukar Senghor. Recycling waste materials such as plastic bag has long been a challenge for the authorities. Various attempts have been made to lessen the effects of the such non-biodegradable material on the environment. One woman has, however, taken matters into her own hands, recycling plastic bags and bottles, among other waste, into fashion bags, shoes and beads. Momodu Jala visited her makeshift workshop and reports this lone woman is making the most out of the venture. Camping of plastic waste. It's one of the most serious challenges local authorities and national agencies grapple with. Its consequences on the environment has steered serious debate amongst policymakers and the public on how to control and manage the problem. One woman, however, is trying to make a difference by recycling plastic waste into products that are environmentally friendly and economically rewarding. We use plastic bags as our entering point, mm -hmm. but there are nothing that we left. Mm -hmm. 